Hey, in this video, I'm doing a short review of the saltwater flush that I did yesterday. If you like the video, I encourage you to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Anyways, if you want to hear about my experience, keep watching. I'm Danielle. I'm here doing a little review on the saltwater flush. You've probably heard of it. It's supposed to help uh, cleanse your colon and eliminate toxins and all that other BS. Honestly, I suffer from chronic constipation and I'm looking for something that I can do that will actually relieve my constipation. Um, I'm about 100% sure I have IBSC, but um, anyways, I, I got to get a new doctor to see if, you know, anyways, that's another story. So I'm, I've got my salt water solution here. This is 25 ounces. Um, you're supposed to have 32. So in my second bottle, I have uh, 20 ounces of um, just regular water with some lemon. And I think there's apple cider vinegar. I just refilled the bottle. Up. I don't know. Um, so one note I want to make is this is actually the third salt water solution that I am drinking. So I, I drank some Saturday night. Saturday, my belly was so bloated. I looked like I was pregnant. Like I should have gotten a picture so you guys could see just how big my belly gets when I'm constipated. Um, it was getting to the point it was getting painful. Like it hurt to sit. Like that's how bad. If you are someone, if you've been constipated even just once in your life, um, imagine that kind of discomfort and pain, but more often. Um, like there are times when I won't go to the bathroom for weeks and it's it gets pretty bad. Okay, so before I go ahead and drink the solution, I'm going to do uh, sort of a before um, shot just to see if um, there is a difference in the bloat in my stomach. Um, so this is, this is what my stomach looks like now, and it is not nearly as bad as it was on Saturday. Um, stand up here. So this is a side shot. Ignore the flab on my belly here. That's that's not part of the bloat. This up here is part of the bloat. Um, so on Saturday, my stomach was actually more out to here. Um, oh, I'm getting kind of a little bit of abs here. Um, <laughs> so that's what my stomach looks like now. So after I drink the solution, both bottles, what I'll do is come back in about 30 minutes or so to um, give another update to see if it actually started working within the 30 minutes um, and, and all of that. If it doesn't, then I'll still come back and then I'll just do another update within a couple of hours to see um, where I am, how I feel, and if it helped with the bloating in my stomach. So, all right, I will see you guys in 30 minutes. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. Um, I still haven't gone to the bathroom, but that's not to say that it's not going to work. Amanda tried this a few weeks ago, and um, I think within a couple of hours, she was running for the bathroom. So I'm just going to give it a couple more hours. I'm just going to go about my day, go clean the kitchen. Um, still not going to eat, just to kind of allow it to settle my stomach. I'll probably go ahead and drink a little bit more water just to, you know, kickstart everything. So I guess we'll see. I'll be back in a couple of hours and we'll see if the bloat goes away. All right. Okay, it's been um, a few hours now since I first drank the salt water solution. Uh, you can tell it's a little darker in the room than it was earlier 
and unfortunately I did not have the results that I was hoping for. I did have a small bowel movement. When I say small, I mean like three nuggets came out. Um, and that was the extent of my bowel movement. So I feel like after drinking the salt water solution three times in a row over the last few days, I started it Saturday. Today is Monday. Um, I do feel like I should have had better results. When Amanda drank it a few days ago, I mean, within a couple of hours, she was in and out of the bathroom. Like, um, So I feel like if you are someone who doesn't have any sort of chronic um, bathroom issues, then this will probably work for you. I mean, it's it's basically guaranteed on every blog and video that I have watched or read. If you are someone with a chronic issue, I don't know. I don't think it'll work, but I'm just basing it off of my experience. I will probably try this again tomorrow uh, because I would really like to not have this heavy boulder feeling in my midsection. Amanda and I are getting ready to do our one month uh, video update and I would really like for you guys to see my results without the belly bloat that I've had for the last uh, few days. <laughs> um, so like I said, if you, if you don't have any sort of uh, bowel issues, then the saltwater flush will probably work for you. Um, However, if you are someone like me, you have IBS or you take iron supplements or um, you just have a chronic issue with constipation, um, I'm not saying that it won't work, but you know, expect to have to take it a few days in a row. Um, they say you can take it for up to seven days. Um, and then I guess after that, you should probably take a break. Um, if it takes seven days to get any sort of bowel movement, I would recommend going to the doctor. I'm actually probably going to go to the doctor sometime um, this week. I'm going to a different doctor than the one I normally go to. Um, but anyways, if you have IBS or you have chronic constipation or something like that, if the saltwater flush has worked for you, in the past, I would love to know. Um, if it hasn't, I'd love to know that too. Go ahead and leave me something in the comments if you have some sort of magical solution that you use to, you know, get things moving. I would love to know that too. Oh.